Hello and welcome back to the XLT videos. Today in this video, we will explain the usage of the date function and its syntax in Excel. The Microsoft Excel date function in Excel returns the serial number of a date that represents a valid Excel date. Since we know that dates and times are the two of the most common data variables people work with in Excel. However, working with these two data types is not so easy when you are a new user or beginner at Excel. As Excel stores dates as a serial number that represents the number of days since January 1st, 1900. And if the year is between 0 and 1899, Excel will assume and determine 1900 as year value. So serial number 1 represents January 1st, 1900, 2 represents January 2nd, 1900, 150 as May 29th, 1900 and December 27th, 2015 is stored as 42,365. So by the time you get closer to present decade, the numbers becomes pretty big. It seems confusing but it is convenient and better for calculation purpose. Also, by default when dates are entered in the Excel, it gets displayed as dates because of cell formatting if the cell format was general before function was entered. Let's have a look at the examples we have taken to explore the usage of the date function. Many a times it happens that you get date components in different columns or cells in a data and you might have asked to combine them using Excel function to get a proper date. And this is when date function comes into the picture. And in the first example, we have similar type of situations where the day of the month, month and year are given in three different columns and we need to get the complete date in column D. So we go to cell D11 and enter date function. The moment we type date function, we can see the description there which says returns the number that represents the date in Microsoft Excel date time code. Anyway, we hit tab and as you can see, date function takes three arguments in order to return the proper date. The first argument is year, which is the value of the year that can contain one to four digits. In case year value is from zero to 1899, function will take 1900 as year value since Microsoft Excel uses the 1900 date system and year value between 1900 to 9999 will be considered as it is for the year however function returns number error when year value is provided less than 0 or greater than 9999 the second argument is month is a positive or negative number that represents the month value if the month value supplied is more than 12 it adds the appropriate number of years and months to the year. In case, if omitted or value less than 1, function subtracts the month value plus 1 from the first month in the year specified. The third and the last argument is day. It is also a positive or negative number that represents the day of the month from 1 to 31st. If the supplied number is greater than the number of days in the month specified, it adds the number of days to the first day in the month specified in the argument and in case this argument is omitted or entered less than 1, function subtracts the day value plus 1 from the first day of the month specified. All three arguments are required for the function to work and they can be supplied directly to the arguments, references to the cell location that contains dates or value written by any Excel formula. Since we have elaborated all three arguments in detail, now we first select year value which is there in C11 and then B11 for the month value and at last we select day value in A11 and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function returns with the proper date in system format and as soon as we drag the formula to the last active cell of this table, we get dates for all the rows successfully. Okay, now we move on to the next example where we will get the following month and year series using date function. Sometimes you get only date based on which you have to get the series of dates by month and year or day. So here if you look at A22 and B22, we have the dates with us and we have to get the series of the dates by month and years respectively. 
So we go to A23 first and type date function. In the first argument, we type year function to extract the year value from A22. Then month function in the second argument to extract the month value. And as we have to get the following month series of dates, so we add 1 to the month value and then we extract the day value using day function and hit control enter. The moment we hit enter, we get following month date in the cell and when we copy down till A27, we can see the following month series of the date is ready with us. And similarly, you can get the series of the date by year and instead of adding 1 to the month value, just add it to the year value and you will be provided with the following year series in the range. Isn't it interesting? All right. In the next two examples, we will learn how to find out the first and last day of the month from a date given in Excel. This is very common requirement which comes very often if user works on data regularly. First, we will find out the date of first day of the month for the given date in column B. So we go to B35 and type date function. As the date is given there, so we will extract the date component from there using year, month and day function. But in case if you have values in different columns, you can take them as well in the arguments. Anyway, we type year function first and extract year value, then month function, sorry, and extract month value, then comma. In the third argument, as day value will enter once since we want the first day of the month and then we hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, function returns with July 1st, 2015 for the date July 12th. 2015 which is the first day of the month all right we'll drag the formula later and now we will get the last day of the month so we move on to the next cell in c35 and follow the same steps and extract year value then month value in date function after extracting month value we ask function to add one month and one in the last argument and then we close the parenthesis and subtract one from the value returned by date function and hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, function returned July 31st, 2015 in cell C35. But how? Let's evaluate the function. So we go into the edit mode and as you can see, first we have extracted the year value from the date that is 2015 in this case then the month value which is 7 uh, which represents July and later we have added 1 to it so it finally becomes 8 which represents August and then 1 for the day of the month and then we have subtracted 1 from the date value returned by date function and in this case the date value which returned by date function is August 1st 2015 and when we subtracted 1 from it it returned July 31st, 2015, which is the last day of the month of a date given in the cell. And then we select both the cells and drag both functions to the last active cell and get the first and last day of the month for dates given in column is successful. All right. In the sixth and seventh example, we will find out the dates of the first and last day of the last month for dates given in column A. So to get the first day of the last month, we enter the exact formula which we have used to get the first day of the month in the fourth example. The only addition we have to do in the formula is to subtract one from the month which would help us to retrieve the first day of the last month and here you go. As soon as we hit enter, we get the first day of the last month. And similarly, in order to get the last day of the last month, we go to C35 and copy the function and paste it here in C47 and we go into the edit mode and delete the addition in the month value and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function gives us the last day of the last month in cell C47 and then we drag both the formula to the last active cell and we have got the first and last of the last month for corresponding dates stored in column A. 
Likewise, we will find out the dates of the first and last day of the next month in next two examples respectively. So to get the date of the first day of the next month, we'll simply add one more month to the month value which would help us to retrieve the first day of the next month and to get the last day of the next month we'll add two months to month value returned by second argument in the function and will be ready with the dates of the last day of the next month itself and then we drag both the formulas to the last step set to receive the dates for the corresponding cells well, this is how you can play with date function in different ways in different situations to meet your requirements. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well. That's all for now. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.